For two completely immiscible liquids, we are going to see that a solution A in a closed container is mixed together with solution B in a closed container. So here we have the, a container which consists of both of the liquids and both of the liquids will be evaporating in the, in the container and contribute to the vapor pressure. When we mix two volatile liquids which are entirely miscible in all proportions to give a single liquid which contribute to the vapor pressure, we are going to see the characteristic of this liquid which resemble an ideal solution. In this case, the solution must obey Routes law. We know that in Routes law, the vapor pressure of the solution is equal to the mole fraction of the pure solvent times the pressure of the pure solvent. This happens usually in a mixture of non-polar liquids or both liquids are polar. An example here we have the mixture of toluene and benzene, ethanol and methanol, chlorobenzene and bromobenzene, hexane and heptane. And in this case, we also must consider that the polar solutes dissolve in a polar solvent, which form polar bonds or hydrogen bonds. And most non-polar molecules are insoluble in water because water is a polar molecule. And the non-polar molecule having the characteristic of hydrophobic at room temperature, example hydrocarbon and oil. In this case also, we must consider the intermolecular attractions between molecules which are the same as in a pure liquid, meaning that the intermolecular attraction in a solution A is equal to the intermolecular att attraction between molecules, molecules A and B. An example here when we have a mixture of two volatile liquids, which consists of benzene and toluene. In this case, we must recall that with only two components, we have the mole fraction of benzene plus mole fraction of toluene equal to 1. Let's take a look at benzene first. When we have the mole fraction of benzene equal to 1, so the vapor pressure exerted by benzene is equal to 384 tor. When the mole fraction of benzene equal to 0, so the vapor pressure also uh, equal to 0. For toluene, the mole fraction is equal to 1, so the vapor pressure exerted by toluene is equal to 133 tor. And when the mole fraction equal to 0, the vapor pressure is also equal to 0. In this case, we can see that the intermolecular forces in benzene molecule is lower compared to tol uh, toluene. Toluene having higher boiling point because um, it needs more heat to break the bond between the, mo the molecules because the vapor pressure is lower as compared to benzene and benzene is more volatile than toluene. By employing Dalton's law to calculate the total pressure of solution which consists of benzene and toluene, so here we have the formula of Total pressure equal to pressure of benzene plus pressure of toluene. So how to calculate the pressure of benzene? We have here the mole fraction of benzene times the partial pressure of benzene. The same goes for toluene. And then Dalton's law also states that the partial pressure of the gas is the product of mole fraction of the gas times the total pressure. So here we can find also the Partial pressure for uh, individual components equal to the mole fraction of the components times the total pressure. Here is benzene and this one is the toluene. And then for gas or vapor composition of liquid in solution is calculated by using this formula where we symbolize as Y benzene equal to P uh, benzene divided by total pressure. The same goes for toluene. Let's take a look at an example here. At 40 degrees C, the vapor pressure of heptane and octane are 92 and 31 millimeter mercury respectively. 
So the mixture of both compounds forms an ideal solution. A mixture of heptane and octane containing 35% heptane is placed in a closed container. So the question is, which component is more volatile? Secondly, calculate the total pressure of the vapor form above the solution. And thirdly, calculate the vapor composition of octane in equilibrium with the solution for question a we know that heptane are more volatile because vapor pressure of heptane is higher as compared to octane for b in order for us to calculate the total pressure of the vapor form we have to know the more fraction of heptane from the information given in here in the question we know that 35 percent is the more fraction of heptane which is equal to 0 0.35 so to calculate the more fraction of octane xb equal to 1 minus 0 0.35 equal to 0 0.65 since we already have the values so we can substitute this value inside the formula to calculate the total pressure of the vapor form above the solution so here we can get the total pressure is 52.35 millimeter mercury for c the vapor composition of obtain xb we use this formula where the total pressure of the uh, vapor form over the solution times the mole fraction of B which is the octane equal to mole fraction of octane times the pressure pressure of octane so here we get the value from the previous answer here so we just need to substitute the value and we can get the vapor composition of octane equal to 0 0.385 or 38.5 percent